Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video on a really sunny day, as you can tell. We're back from the international break. We're back for Championship football. We take on Fulham from Craven Cottage in arguably our toughest test of the season so far. Of course, Fulham tipped to return to the Premier League uh, and get automatic promotion. Um, so are we, so it's going to be a really, really good game. Um, as I say, back from international break, I, I took an international break, if you could call it myself, just took a couple of weeks off the channel, but I'm back with the uh, the preview today. So uh, let's just get straight into it. We'll start with Fulham's team news. Um, there's two bits of team news for Fulham. Harry Arter is out suspended um, after he was red carded against Cardiff after that uh, ridiculous dive, <laughs> I have to say. And uh, oh doy, Fulham's right back is injured. As well, so he won't uh, play any part in the game. Uh, for our team news, Kieran Gibbs and Connor Townsend are unavailable um, for West Brom. Uh, Gibbs is back in light training, according to Slavin Bilic in his press conference today. Townsend should be back for the next game, so that means that Nathan Ferguson is likely to step into the left back role. Uh, Hagazi won't be uh, fit enough to play. Um, of course, uh, according to Slavon Bilic, he is uh, fit, he's back from his injury, he's training, he's 95% there, he just needs that 5% match fitness and um, he'll be back in no time. Uh, my score prediction, um, I'm a little bit torn on what's going to happen here, I'm either going for a draw uh, or a baggies win, I'm going to go for an Albion win, I'm going to go 2-1 to Albion. Uh, I'm not going to know any goal scorers. <laughs> I don't really care. Just uh, just about getting the three points. It's either I'm going to go two on Alvin, but I was torn between going for two two as well. I think there'll be a few goals in this game. Um, obviously, both teams have got really leaky defences, but deadly attacks. So it could be a game of goals. Um, I've a little bit of a change on the preview. I'm going to go and do the opposition's predicted eleven as well. So I've got Fulham's right here. Their formation predicted uh, 4-2-3-1, so better Nelly in goal. Ryan Sessegnon, is it Ryan Sessegnon at right back? I can't remember because there's two brothers, but Sessegnon at right back will go with uh, Alfie Mawson and Tim Ream, and then it's Brian at left back. Harrison Reed, former West Brom man Stefan Johansson in the uh, midfield. Uh, Anthony Knockart, Tom Kearney. Uh, Ivan Caballero and Alexander Mitrovic uh, for Fulham. Uh, for our predicted team news, I'm going to also go with a 4-2-3-1 formation. I'm going to go Sam Johnston in goal, Darnell Furlong at right back, Semi Ajayi and Carl Bartley as the centre backs, and Nathan Ferguson at left back. Two central midfield players over Main Soyers and Jay Livermore. Uh, Matt Phillips and Dean Garner on the wing. And I'm going to go Matthias Pereira playing just behind lone striker Charlie Austin. Uh, so I think it will be the same side that beat Blackburn 3-2. No reason to change the side um, when they've just picked up three points in the game. Obviously, the defence needs to tighten up a little bit. Two sloppy goals we gave away uh, against Blackburn. Hopefully, that gets sorted out uh, under Slavin Bilic. But guys, if you enjoyed the preview, make sure to give the video a like. Comment down below your thoughts on Fulham West Brom and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys for more videos very soon.